What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new for 2020 Japan Historics 3 Series. This is a really, really, really nice set. And as you can see, there are three new castings for this set. Let's have a quick look before we get into it. Ooh, that's nice. Really nice, this one. Quick look at the back. And some quick mumbo jumbo if you would like to read you can pause and let's get into it Let's not waste any time and start with the Nissan Skyline RS KDR 30 So cool. Look at that card art. That is really really nice. Anyway, let's rip it open Ooh, That is nice nice enamel red paint Nice clean headlight details, really cool gold wheels. And on the side you have your RS Turbo. Nice detailing on the back. Painted wing, very nice to see. Even has a rear wing uh, window spoiler. Very cool. And right hand drive. Wow, that's nice. That is very nice. Let's get into number two. The 85 Honda City Turbo 2. Such a cool looking little casting, this one. Yeah, these are all locked in pretty tightly this time. No! It's a good thing that there's a uh, material there so that it protects them when they do fall. Here we go. Nice gold wheels. Have an orange and gold coloration going on with your Turbo R. Turbo 2 and R. Wow, that's some nice detailing on the front there. You even have a tow hook. Little red tow hooks by the looks of it. Very cool Honda logo there. This is a really nice, really nicely done casting. Nice and clean. And in the back you have your Moto Compo motorcycles. Very cool. And there are three Moto Compo motorcycles in the back. That's really nice. I do like that. Number three is the Nissan Suvia CSP311. Very nice. This is not the first releasing of this casting, but this is the first clean casting, clean release casting, I should say. This was recently released in a purple and orange color theme in the Fast and Furious series. Uh, you can check my playlist and Go and have a look at that yourself if you wish. But I think this is the proper release. Very nice and clean. Have your nice lo Nissan logo on the front there. Even have some paint in the lights. Very cool. Nice looking wheels. They do suit that with the white little white ring around them. And you have your Sylvia logo on there. Nice clean markers. I do quite like the uh, the chrome bumper, very nice. And you have a brown or tan interior. That is so nice. That color is kind of a metallic olive. Very nice. And here is one which I'm sure everybody is looking forward to collecting themselves. Uh, this is actually the the hardest one out of all of them to find. So. I wish you all luck in your hunt, but this is so cool, the 75 Datsun Sunny Truck B120. And once again, it is locked in its prison. Come on, get out of your plastic prison. There we go. Ooh, nice metallic yellow paint job. Really nice four spoke chromey wheels with your flared arches. Very nice. You even have your extra window detail, front headlights and badge detail, the orange marker there, very cool, you even have the little vents, very nice, very, very nice, and a very nice touch, which I think is really cool, is the artist that designed this casting decided to put in his uh, paint kit, your painting kit, and the easel so that's very cool. There's even a little paint pot in the corner and your roll there with all your paintbrushes in. So I think that 
this is an ex excellent, excellent casting. Very, very cool. Just that extra attention to detail is very nice. And the last car is the 68 Mazda Cosmo Sport. Wow. All I can say for this one is wow. So nice. And this one doesn't want to be out of its prison. Too bad, you're getting out. And here we have a nice metallic white paint job. Very cool. Those wheels look awesome on this. You have your uh, indicator light plus your vents there. And your Mazda logo and Cosmo on the front. Nice big open grille. Painted details on the lighting. Very nice. Very, very nice. This one was causing a little bit of controversy when it was released because this does not come with any bumpers. Whereas if you look on the picture, it has the chrome bumpers. You can see the chrome bumper on the back there. So I think they could have done just a little bit better by putting the chrome bumpers on. And you see a Mazda written on the back there too. But I think that once this gets released the second time, they'll probably do a racing theme. So, if it's in a racing theme, I think that'll actually work quite well. Quickly line these up so we can have a look. Very nicely done. And I hope you enjoyed this Japan Historics 3 unboxing and review. I hope you are all going to go out and try and find them yourself. Until next time, I hope you have fun collecting. I hope you can go out and find these for yourself. And until I see you next time, I wish you all a happy week. I will see you all next time. Bye.